Hello and welcome to Button Prompt, the gaming news show that's almost completely bias-free. I'm your host, Pierce Turner. Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are all joining forces. No, they're not putting Master Chief and Nathan Drake in Smash Brothers. They are actually just all really pissed off about tariffs. The Trump administration recently proposed taxes on imported goods from China, which would include a 25% tariff on consoles. Most consoles are made in China, so naturally the big three said, what the f***? The companies crafted a joint letter to the Trump administration asking for a reconsideration, but knowing Trump, he will probably get confused and respond by trying to deport Mario instead. If your game starts losing popularity, add parkour. Why not? At least that seems to be the mindset of the PUBG Corporation. The battle royale that started it all is adding parkour and new vehicles in a patch. Apparently this will completely change the way PUBG is played, adding a Mirror's Edge Dying Light-like element. Let's take a look at these amazing new features. Oh, that's it? You, you, couldn't, you couldn't do that already? Destiny 2 went offline for a whopping 12 hours this week, leaving hardcore players wondering what the hell they're supposed to do with their lives. Bungie planned the maintenance period to prepare for the upcoming cross-save feature. This is one of the longest planned maintenances for Destiny since launch, and players were lost, wondering what to grind for. Some started taking drastic measures by grinding for real life things, like going to the gym and trying to get the perfect role on muscles and weight loss, and applying for jobs to finally beat that career raid boss. And those are the biggest video game stories of the week, according to me. I'll be back next week with even more news. Take care.